Hey, what's up guys, it's DJ. Today we're going to be taking an early look at the Gerval Pack for Farming Simulator 22. In total, nine new machines and tools are heading our way on Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 for all platforms. This DLC is part of the year two season pass, so if you own that, you will also gain access to the Gerval Pack immediately after its release. And at the time of releasing this video, you can still pre-order the DLC right now for $8.99 on the Farming Simulator website. We'll have an affiliate link in in the description if you'd like to pick it up it will be nine dollars 99 cent after release in this video we're going to take a look at each piece of equipment check out its customization and showcase what each thing can do if you have any further questions about the dlc that i don't address in today's video as well please feel free to post those in the comments otherwise let's take a look at the gerval pack dlc first things first once it is released you'll find it in mods and dlcs right here and you'll be able to select what you want starting off with the lt master f-115 stationary bail rapper combo yes that is right it's even got a tub on the back so that you can just dump whatever you want in there and we'll talk about the new things that we can make into bales so this holds 20,000 liters of capacity 14.8 tons 120 horsepower is required and the good thing is it's stationary so you don't need anything massive just hook up to it and let it sit there and it will make 125 centimeter bales and 125 centimeter wrapped bales wrapper design we have a standard setup on the front or you could do the with bell on end turner otherwise it's just going to roll off the front I highly recommend that turner it does work super cool then we have a silage additive tank because this is a bell wrapper you're gonna want that silage additive tank if you're gonna make silage so definitely go there and then we have four colors of white black pink light green and light blue just like you would have in the base game stuff we also have a license plate so what can this make well this can do straw hay grass chaff sugar beet cut and it could do tmr bells now the thing is it's still only going to make silage bells out of grass and chaff you could do sugar beet cut just by keeping them all together and then taking them over to the bga your straw and your hay are going to be normal bells and then that tmr it'll is also going to wrap the tmr too which I think it's kind of cool you can cut it open if you want to you can cut all these open if you want to but one of the really neat things about the tmr is it is tmr but it's in a bell form so instead of having to go get a scoop of this and a scoop of that and mix it all up you can mix a bunch of stuff especially if you're playing like a realistically type of thing you can make a bunch of tmr and just let it sit in bales and just throw a bell over to your cows every once in a while i think that's a really cool feature of this now as far as i can tell the difference between these two machines is pure purely going to be how big of the bales they can make. So the Ver or Vario Master V140 can make 125 and 150 centimeter round bales, whereas the LT Master can only do 125. Otherwise, they're virtually identical. Making our way down, we have the Gerval G1 F125 Combi. This is a baler wrapper combo, 125 centimeter round bales only, and it only does grass hay and straw it will not do the new type so heads up there 160 horsepower is required it will do it at 10 miles per hour we've got a wrapper design of standard and with bell on in turner again uh, a lot of these machines have that i recommend that every time uh, we also have silage additive and we have our foil color and license plate and a smaller version of that baler the g1 f125 non combi this is just a regular round baler 125 centimeters Again, it doesn't do those new types, only the standard types. Trelleborg, BKT tires, as well as Vratistan, and we have standard and wide tires. One very cool piece of equipment in this DLC that I cannot wait to show you in the field is the G4010Q Profi. This is a stationary bell wrapper, and quite literally, it is stationary in the fact that it doesn't need to be attached to a tractor to run. It literally does its own thing. It has its own power factory built in. You can see it's got a little little exhaust pipe there and an air intake. It's got everything built like into it. You just utilize buttons pretty much. It's kind of cool. Uh, it'll do 125 or 100 centimeter uh, round bells, and it will also wrap 180 centimeter square bells, which is pretty cool. And then we have our normal foil color. Next, we've got another bell wrapper. However, this one you probably already know how to use. This is the G5020. This will do 125 and 150 centimeter round bells, and we've got a couple different things. We have the wrapper design of with bell on end turner or not. Again, 
go with that bell in Turner. It won't roll away on you. And then we have wheel options to match the others. Trelleborg, Reda Stein right through there. Standard and wide tires on the Trelleborg. And our foil colors are exactly the same. Another super cool piece of kit that was added with this DLC is the G1015. This will wrap 125 and 150 centimeter round bells. However, it is taken with three point and front loader or telehandler. That's right. Three point and telehandler or three point and front loader rather on the same connection. Very cool there. Uh, we do have the same foil colors through here, which is nice. And then we've got a support roller on the very back, which might come in handy, especially picking the bells off the ground because it does get kind of low. So maybe go with that. I think it's a good idea. And then we've got stuff for bell handling. The first one is the BTG QU 180 centimeter square bells. That's right. Square bells. This just squeezes them at three point and front loader connection again. And we also have telehandler. And lastly, we have the RBG 125 and 150 centimeter round bell handling front loader and telehandler no three point on this now that we've seen the customization and stuff like that for everything let's take a look at some stuff in the field working and we're gonna start with the stationary balers which are already working for us so let's take a look at this machine one of the cool things is we could do a lot of stuff just by like standing beside it so we've got fully unfold baler or unfold extend drawbar so we can do a couple different things with this. So let's, uh, well, let's, let's see what we got. So we've got unfold drawbar only to be toggled from the tractor. All right. So we'll jump at the tractor and we'll toggle that drawbar. So that booms it out like that. Next, we see one that says unfold open side panel. All right. Well, let's do that. Well, only on foot next to the tool. Okay. I'll come over here. Unfold, open the side panel. Yay. <laughs> There we go. All right. Next, it says unfold, prepare the baler. And then it brings this back part down right here, which is just so cool. <laughs> How cool is that? And it brings down, unfolds down, bam. And now we are ready. Now you can do all of that in one flow, or you could do it simply by going to the uh, baler. We can also turn it on from the side as well. So we can completely fully operate everything on foot and we can also fully operate everything inside the tractor. Super, super cool there. And it's already on. I do have some cut sugar beet bells here, but we're gonna be using those for something a little bit different since they don't actually make silage. Let's take some chaff. Now, a lot of guys do uh, chaff harvest and do corn harvest, things like that. So we are gonna take advantage of that ourselves. What I'm doing is dumping the chaff into this baler, going around towards the back, and it's now going to make me some bales. Check out that new animation at the top left-hand corner as well. It tells us how much is left in the bag, and it's gonna sit here and make us a bale. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Super cool, super awesome. I can come over here and turn on and off automatic bell drop as well. And boop, we've got the version right here and it kicks it off to the side for us. Now we can't pick this up, but I'm gonna toggle my super strength to bring it over here. You can see fermenting 0%. And then we look back over and the next one is being made and it's just gonna keep going and taking from this 20,000 liter area right here. It's Pretty darn cool, man. It is a baler and a wrapper combo stationary. Pretty awesome. Now I could come over here. I don't think I can cut these open. No, can't cut those open, but we can cut these sugar beets open, the sugar beet uh, bales. So just heads up there. Here's another thing to note. If you don't move these bales out of the way, they are just gonna keep staying there. And the whole thing is just gonna be held up. So make sure Move your bales out of the way whenever they're ready to go. Now, I don't think we need to show functionality of this bell wrapper or this baler because, well, they work exactly like things that we already have. You can't make anything wild and crazy or fancy with them. Uh, they just are what they are. And they're absolutely beautiful. By the way, the work that's going into these as models, if this has any, any resemblance to the next farming simulator game, whatever that's going to be, uh, well, they, 
we're definitely going to be pampered. And kind of similar goes with this as well, the 5020. At the end of the day, you just kind of grab it, unfold it, and then hook up your, uh, pick up your bail with it and drop it out the back. But one thing that doesn't quite work like that is this piece right here. And I don't even really know why I brought a tractor. We don't need that. All we gotta do is come over here to this and click unfold. And it's gonna drop it down. And you can hear we've got a little engine running on the back of it. We've got turn uh, automatic bell drop turned on. So there's that. Uh, I do have a bell of chaff here that for some reason didn't finish getting made. So I'm just gonna bring it over. Pretend I've got a front loader here and we'll just drop it. So whether you've got chaff for whatever reason, uh, maybe you've got a cut sugar beet bale, which we're gonna grab one of those next, or maybe you've got a, uh, a grass bale that you need to do. Boom, boom. And now it has made this for us and it is now fermenting and I could put this next to the other chaff bales right there. Well, here's a cut sugar beet bale. It's not bailed up, boop. We bring it over with a front loader or if you've got uh, something else, grab that, bring it over and it'll just wrap it for you. Again, we can turn on and off automatic drop if you want to and it'll just leave the bell there and you can come pick it up with a grapple or boop, just like so. Here, we could pick it up off the ground. This is a pretty darn cool setup with the way they've got everything. And now we've got a cut sugar beet bell and if we don't want it there, boop, we can just cut it open. How cool is this thing? And then we could just fold it, raise it up, ready to go, jump in our Landini here, grab it and drive away. This is perfect for maybe smaller, um, smaller stuff or maybe even multiplayer. By the way, you can't unfold this when it's here. You can turn on and off automatic bell drop, but this is a stationary piece of equipment. It goes on the ground and it stays there. So the last piece we're gonna talk about is the 1015. The thing I said at the very beginning was the number one piece of equipment that I was looking forward to seeing in this DLC. And that is exactly what I've done is I've saved this for last. So I've got the roller installed on here, which definitely, definitely highly recommend. I also highly recommend turning uh, own automatic bell drop. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll up to this first bale, get close to it, and it's gonna automatically pick it up. It's gonna give you a little bing sound, and then it's just gonna wrap it. That's, that's it. That's what it does. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. And then when it's done, it'll do a little beep, and it'll drop the bale, and you've now made a wrapped bale. And again, I've got this roller on the ground, I don't have to raise this up. I don't have to go anywhere, but I can if I want to. It's really not that heavy. I was shocked, but like, I could just leave this up in the air if I want to. And whenever the bell's done, it's just gonna drop it on the ground. Watch this. Boop. <laughs> it just drops it right on the ground. <laughs> so you could just take it down, get close-ish and grab your next bell. How cool is that? Absolutely super, super awesome. Again, I love that we can just cut those open. Um, super, super cool way to organize and uh, and keep your cut sugar beets in a, uh, a nice area right there. Boop. That's so cool, man. And that's it. That is your first look at the upcoming Gravel Pack for Farming Simulator 22, which will be releasing on Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 for all platforms. Again, this pack is included in the year two season pass. So if you got that, you don't need to buy or pre-order the DLC. However, if you would like to pre-order it for Farm Sim 22, buy the year two season pass, or maybe you just want to get the game for the first time. Check out the description for links to all of those and make sure you use the code DJ Goham when you do. That goes to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. If you have any further questions about the new Gurval pack, Farming Simulator 22, or anything else, post them in the comment section below and check the description for helpful links to other things you may be interested in as well. You can also find playlists for new mods and farm some news link there. That way you can stay updated with everything new and upcoming going on in the world of Farming Simulator. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.
Peace.